Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If you had any doubts, or you still have any doubts, that the United States of America is actually trying to destroy Russia through Ukraine, then you just have to look back and see how much and what kind of weapons uh, the United States of America provided to the Ukrainians to fight the Russians. Now you might say, well, it's just help. Well, really, really, all this increase in uh, not only in the number, but in the quality of the weapons provided is um, as if the United States is really using all its weapons, uh, except nuclear weapons, to uh, fight Russia under the guise of uh, helping Ukrainians defend uh, the evil Russians' uh, invasion. Obviously, um, the truth, I think, is uh, you know on both sides. They all have interests, and under the guy, uh, this guise of um, you know the right thing, and uh, we are good, they are bad. Um, there actually is a very very crude war where you have the Ukrainian nation actually sacrificed, I think, for the interest of other, uh, how should I put them, entities. When you put entities, you put a lot under. So you have entities, you can put groups, people, um, I don't know, political parties, individuals, uh, and, all, and all sorts. That's why I say entities. Now, what happened now? What happened, it seems like, the, not it seems, it will. Why? Because uh, history teaches us lessons. You just, uh, you know, have to pay attention and make a pattern. That's all. Memorize it and pay attention. Keep it in your memory and you're going to see that happening again and again and again. The same tactic. And I will give you, an, give you an example very clear. When you used to be young, or maybe you're still young, when you approached a, uh, a girl, uh, I hope, uh, you used a certain kind of method. That was your style. Well, you kind of applied that style all the time to begin with, and then you probably uh, adjust according to what signal you receive from the other side. But you ba basically use the same method, because that's what you knew. Therefore, the same thing it could be observed on you from outside when you approached a possible partner. The same here. United States approached the same technique in providing Ukraine weapons, from the sending the first bullets to Ukraine, to the uh, howizers, to HIMARS, to uh, uh, infantry vehicles, tanks in the future, but not only Uni uh, United States, the whole group. Airplanes now, longer um, uh, defense ch -ch, uh, missile systems and so on. All these, thi all these things were provided in a certain way, in a certain way. Baby steps, pa -pa 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 -pa. even though the babies don't make steps, they not even roll. But anyway, what happens now? The United States did the same way of, hey, the Ukrainians are dying, the evil Russians are destroying them. Do you think that this kind of next thing, uh, of weapon, next kind, next kind of weapon, do you think this kind of weapons would work? I don't know, man, we shouldn't uh, escalate. And they always provided it. They had a little debate. So us, uh, we look at it and say, oh yeah, then, yeah, we're not, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, they try to try us and see how our reaction would be. The same with polling. When you see people, politicians, they say, I will release of JFK's uh, documents. Poll. And I pay a poll and see what you guys say. Are you for or are you against? It works for. I will keep saying that as a politician. That's how it works. I'm waiting to see what you say. I say, well, that's the goal, Emil. Because no, because sometimes you don't believe in what you are going to propose, but you want to see how many people will follow you. You know, let's say you're against uh, releasing the documents, but if that's advantageous for you to win the elections, you will promote that. And when you get elected, bye-bye, I fooled you. <laughs> I'm here for four years. And after four years, if I want to be re-elected, I'm going to lie to you again. That's how it works. And then you go again, you're going to vote for me. Why? Because you have an attention span of three minutes. So the same thing with this. So what's happening right now? The Americans knowing that people don't pay attention to patterns, Forgot the same, forgot that the same technique was used sending everything else. The problem is this is another escalation, which tells me is about, you know, let's destroy those guys because they invaded Ukraine. That's how the story goes. Business Insider. Here is why. So they tell us why. Now we're at the why we need. Ukraine needs the US Army tactical missile system to win the 
deep battle against Russia. If they want to send nuclear weapons, let's say, to, uh, um, to Ukraine, which would not happen, but I'm just giving you a, a crazy scenario. If they want to justify sending nuclear weapons to, to Ukraine, they will find a method. They will say, well, this is what they need to destroy those evil guys in Moscow that imminently want to destroy the whole planet, including you. We need to do that. And you know how they're going to justify it? The exact way they justified it in the Second World War. Well, these guys are crazies, are gonna die, are gonna kill the whole people around us and uh, around them. Uh, we can't let them do that. We have to stop them. I know uh, if you want to make an omelet, you have to break some eggs. So let's do it. It's gonna be very easy with these uh, people around uh, to, um, to master that support or not even support because uh, they didn't ask us when they sent the billions of dollars to Ukraine and still they have support without the, those idiots knowing that eventually it's going to buy them in their butts. How? Taxes. Taxes, prices going higher, inflation and so on. But they don't know yet. Why? Because they still have the beer. They still have the stupid TV with their view and the games. They still have a job. Some of them, some of them don't, but get it from other people who pay taxes. They get their uh, government programs. Okay. And, and then they want reparations, some of them. So here, here it goes. It's very easy. It's very easy. So, yes, they will send this uh, uh, U.S. Army tactical missile systems. Okay, they, they will be sent. I guarantee you that. It worked before, it will work again. It's just a different uh, name. Uh, the U.S. is considering providing ATA CMS to Ukraine, according to Wall Street Journal report. Yes, it's considering. That's always did, did this. Remember, a minute ago, they considered uh, sending a cluster of munitions. They considered. And what happened in a week? They send it. So don't worry. Kiev has long sought ballistic missiles which could strike targets far beyond the front lines. And what now? <laughs> because uh, Russia doesn't crack and it has to be cracked. Biden has so far resisted sending them, but signals from Washington, D.C. All right. The Biden resisted. Biden said that he would not send. Uh, airplanes, he said he will not send tanks, and somehow the airplanes F-16s are gonna go over there, somehow the Abrams will go over there, and so on. So US is considering providing their longest range missiles yet to be sent to Ukraine. Kiev has long been asking for US uh, for the Army Tactical Missile Systems or ATA CMS, which has a range of about 190 miles. That's it. And then they're going to go to the next one. It's going to be 1,000 miles. But maybe not because I think they're not idiots. I'm telling you why. They know, they being the American sponsors and uh, all these guys, we're going to use you to hit those. But we have to be mindful that you might turn one day like this. And we don't want that to happen. I was about to fall here. Uh, <laughs> it, it might happen that way. So they're mindful. They're not going to send something that can really hit certain targets. Because as before, again, a pattern, um, just uh, memorize what happened in the past. Those guys that you supported, let's say, I'm going to give you one example. In, uh, yes, Afghanistan in 1980s against the Soviet invasion, which was bad as it was. Those Mujahideens turn into what? And then turn into what? And then turn into what? And what happened in the meantime? Okay, you know. YouTube, I will not say it, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. So they also know that they're going to arm these guys who they know some of them are thugs in control of the Ukrainian nation. I don't call them, you know, they know who they are. They deal with them every day. So these guys, one day could, I don't know, get a higher beater and whoosh, turn against them. That's why they don't send them too long, because if they bring those to Lviv, towards Poland, with, with, uh, let's say 200 miles, it's not going to hit uh, Berlin, but it's going to hit Krakow. Hey, it doesn't matter, right? That's what these guys are calculating. How do you think? They look at the radius and say, okay, how, how far is going to go if these guys turn from east into west? It happened before, it could happen because you know the quality or lack of, of those people that you are right now, you're arming. So what do you think will happen? I think personally that uh, they will provide them with this. 
they will provide them with a few then they will advertise it because it's a an advertising session on, on the front by the military industrial complex how fantastic the weapons of those private uh, arms manufacturing uh, companies are fantastic buy them and it's about profit and control the same here in Ukraine. Why do you think it's Russia in, in the midst? It's because they love Ukraine all of a sudden because Biden loves Ukraine or Biden has some business arrangement. It's not Russia. It's the global thing. It's the global hegemony. That's the end game. Now, who stands in my way? They will take care of it. And they don't want to scare the little fish. They're not, they are not at that point yet. But they will get to that one if they're... Uh, their uh, plan doesn't uh, fulfill, it doesn't get fulfilled, they will get that when they're gonna take their mask and you're gonna see exactly who that is, even the weasels. The problem is the weasels will be too busy, you know, feeding uh, their themselves and the families at that point because uh, life would be very hard for all of us. But anyway, some of us might have some fat that we can still use, you know, and uh, survive a little bit longer. But them, anyway, they've been useful idiots. So yes, they will get those and the global, uh, the global goal will be attained if Russia falls, then it's going to see, okay, China, now it's your turn. See over there, Russia, you want to be like that or you're going to play ball and you're going to let me whenever I want, however I want and for how long, for how long I want and how deep I want, okay? And that's going to be China. It's going to say, well, you uh, nailed Russia, but we are stronger. And then we're going to have another Taiwan, uh, I mean, Ukraine uh, f uh, little scuffle where somehow uh, the Chinese will just invade and will be the aggressors and, uh, and so on. I hope it doesn't end that way. Uh, and the best way not to end that way is Russia not collapsing. If Russia doesn't collapse, collapse that's about the extent. These guys are forming their alternative, you know, club, alternate club and so on. We'll see. And the Americans can't do much about it. So Russia right now is the first block that needs to be removed. And then used as an example to China and see how China will do it. And then Iran and then other countries that are really stand in the way. Not North Korea. North Korea, they're going to they're gonna take care of the woodchuck in, the, in Korea, North Korea, little by little. He's going to, I don't know, have an accident, an emergency. He's going to be, I don't know, quickly catch a cancer or something. And then the next one, her sister, the same. And then will come someone who's going to say, you know what, let's open up North Korea. And they're going to open up North Korea like uh, Commodore Perry. Open up Japan in what, uh, 1868? The same. Boom, boom, boom. Read that one. <laughs> we open up, when you read about uh, how Japan, feudal Japan was opened by the West, it was uh, Commodore Perry with his freaking uh, bombs. That's why they did it from the ships. They blew up the Yokohama and uh, whatever other ports over there, Edo or Tokyo or whatever it was. Boom, 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 1960, 1868 or 1869. And then it was the Meiji Restoration. <laughs> that, means they, they, that means they pushed those guys out the uh, shogun and they got the their puppet uh, emperor back in business beautiful right the same thing would happen to north korea and the restoration <laughs> okay thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just meiji <laughs>